Who owns this housecape? Is it the coal that built it, or the clock stopped at one minute to seven in a careworn corridor? Is it Ceres, goddess of agriculture, commanding the staircase, 2,000 years young, or the stuffed buffalo head of unknown provenance? The Earl of Strafford, or the electrician who came to put a light bulb in 10 years ago and fell in love with the house's filament? Who owns this vast compliance with the rules of symmetry? And who owns the defiance of cupboards that are rooms, trick doorways, the sympathy between slate and marble, gold leaf and Yorkshire weather, ceremony and sprung floorboards reclaimed for dancing? Who owns whistle jacket, the ghost horse still stamping in his stall, painted and flaunted, hung from wall after wall? Is it the National Portrait Gallery or the National Union of Mine Workers? Seams of colour, seams beneath lawns, what's yours is mined for its essence. Coal laps at the door, can you still see it? Who owns this slant of light? Is it Venetian spun glass in the chapel, watched by quiet disciples, or the stair rods polished by Brasso Dave until they wink? Who owns these silences, these pauses between words? Is it the water on leaf tips or the small talk of the birds? And who owns these ceilings that turn our faces upward? Is it the chandelier simmering or the plants that reclaimed the stables? Can anybody own a corner or the centre of an autumn view? Has owning anything to offer me and you? Are we notebooks or cameras, tenants or pilgrims? Are we spiders hiding in the stillest places of the building? What will we make of it? There are rooms that wake with a start while the world outside is sleeping. Who owns these chambers of the heart? And who will set them beating? <laughs>